Each country in the EU has their own passenger locator form. Italy, Malta and Slovenia have agreed to use the EU PLF. Here is the link to the EU passenger locator form. For this example, we'll select Italy. This form is required for all modes of transportation. We're arriving by air. So we'll select air. But you can see other modes, cruise ships, buses, trains and cars. Now check the boxes that you are telling the truth, and accept the privacy notice. Here you click register. We have to create an account before you can log in. Enter your email. And then create a password. Note the arrow at the top. You can't proceed until you get an email with a link. Once you have the email, click the link and you'll come to this page. Now, enter your email and password. This time click login. Check the boxes again on being truthful, and accept the privacy notice. Then continue. Click whether you have a direct flight from your originating airport, or if it is non-direct. Ours is non-direct so we check that. Now enter the name of your airline. We are flying British Air. So we enter that. Our flight number is 78. And our seat is 12C. And then, type which country you are boarding your first flight in. You're probably at home, so it is the United States. Next, select the date of your departure. Now the tricky part. To enter your departure time, you have to use a 24-hour clock. For afternoon flights, we add 12 hours. So our 3, 26 p.m. flight is a 15:26 flight on a 24-hour clock. Be careful, the default time zone is New York. You need to click X, and then select your time zone. They aren't in the right order. So beware. Go ahead and enter your departure airport, our boarding airport is Phoenix. We click other. Then enter Phoenix. And then your arrival country. The United Kingdom for us. Here we are just transiting through the United Kingdom to Italy. Now search through the airports in the UK. They aren't in order. That would be too easy. We are going to London Heathrow. So we select it. Now you select the date of arrival and arrival time. Again the time is on a 24 hour clock. We are arriving at 9.35 am. Verify the correct time zone, or click the X to clear it if it is wrong. Then make the appropriate selection. We aren't in Italy yet, so click add flight or leg. On to the next leg of our flight. We do exactly the same things as before. Enter your airline name, your flight number, your seat number, the country you are boarding, the United Kingdom for us, the date and time of your departure. And the boarding airport. For us, we are still at London Heathrow, so we select that. Now your arrival date and time. Italy is our destination country. For the last time. Enter your destination airport, Rome for us. Now the arrival date and time. The hard part is done. Click continue. Wait. What's wrong? Ah. We didn't set our final flight or final leg. Scroll down to the flight from London to Rome and check the final flight box. Now click continue. 
We still have a few pages to complete. Enter your last name as on your passport. Then your first name. Sex is optional. Then your date of birth. I shaved off a few years in this demo. But you have to tell the truth. For identification, click passport and then enter your passport number. Next enter your smartphone number, starting with plus one. Or if you aren't taking your phone with you, enter a different contact phone number. Now click continue. We are getting close. Enter your permanent address, your home address. Be aware. Don't include your street or house number on the street field. It goes on the next line, street number. If you visited another country within 14 days, click the box, add previously visited country. Otherwise, click continue. We are in the home stretch. Finally, enter where you will be first staying in the country. We are in Rome. Enter the hotel address. Rome is in the province of Lazio. We are staying at the luxury hotel 77. Then the street name. Followed by the street number. Finally the zip code. Now click continue. The emergency contact information page is optional. If you want to list an emergency contact, complete this page. Otherwise just click continue. Enter your birth date, yes again. Then the city where you were born. Your country of birth. And your citizenship. If you are bringing minors, check the box. Then click add. And complete the form. Final questions enter none, if you have not traveled or transited in another country in the last 14 days. List the provinces you'll visit in the country, Lazio or Rome for us. As US citizen, check the middle box. Now click submit. You are done. You'll get an email confirmation. It will have a QR code you can load in your phone or you can present the paper form. Wasn't that fun?